This video covers some of the basics about the command line interface in the Cisco ASA firewall. Normally, when you connect to the command line interface, you get a prompt. You connect either via console port, SSH, or Telnet. Whatever method you use, you will get the command prompt when you get in. And the command prompt normally contains the host name, in this case, Cisco ASA, which is the default host name of the ASA firewall. After the host name in the prompt, you have a larger than sign. Larger than sign means that you are in the user exec mode. User exec mode means that you have limited privileges and cannot do very much. No matter where you are on the command line interface, you can always use the question mark on the keyboard to get your available options at that point. When I press the question mark, I get the list of all available commands and a short description about what each command does. For example, at this stage, I can enter the command enable, E-N-E-B-L-E. -E. After the command, I can press question mark again to see whatever I can do here. And I can press a space and a question mark to see if I can enter anything after the enable. So I enter enable, space and question mark. Then I see here that I have two options. I can either enter catch return, it's the CR, which is the same as the enter. I can either enter the enter here or I can write a number between 0 and 15 or nothing else. And I can just press enter here. So I enter the command and I press the enter key. In this case, the enable command gives me a password prompt. Whenever I go into enable mode, I use the enable command and I optionally have a password that I need to enter here. It's called the enable password. In this case, it was not set. So I just pressed enter here at the password prompt and I got right into the enable mode. I can see here that the prompt changed. It's no longer a larger than sign, but a hash sign. Hash sign means that I am in something called privileged exec mode, but it's sometimes also called enable mode because I enter the enable command to get into enable mode. Whenever I'm in enable mode, I have full access to everything in the firewall. And if I use the question mark here, I will see a long list of commands. That means that I have much more options here. Whenever there's a more prompt, it means that there's more output than what fits on the screen. So I get one screen of output at a time, and I can either press enter to get one more line at a time. Each time I press enter, I see one more line. The output jumps up one line. Or I can press the space bar to get one screen of output or I can press the Q button. It's the Q on the upper left of the keyboard to abort the output. I do it again. I press the question mark and I get more output than what fits on the screen. I press space bar to get one screen at a time and I can do that until I get all output. Then I get back to the prompt. I do it again, question mark. And I press enter to see one line at a time. Or if I do not want to see the rest of the output, I press the Q button to abort it. Let's go back to user exec mode. I do that with the exit command. I have the limited options here. I press question mark and I see the 10 commands I have at this level. I can see there here that I have two commands that start with an E. I have enable and I have exit. I can always abbreviate or shorten the commands as long as they are unique. It means that if I press E here and a question mark, and I see that I have only two commands that start with an E, EN or EX. If I enter E and press enter, I get an error message that E is ambiguous because there are two available commands at this level that start with an E. However, if I press EN, it's not ambiguous anymore. I can press question mark to see that's unique. The only command available here that starts with EN is enable. It also means that I can write EN and press enter to get into enable mode. So I can enter the enable command with just entering EN. I cannot do it with E because it's not unique. In all situations, wherever I am in the command line interface, I can always shorten and abbreviate the command as long as the commands are unique. Let's do a question mark here. I can use the trace route command to do a trace route and I can enter T because it's the only command that starts with a T at this level. However, if I go into enable mode here and I press T and question mark, I see that I have more than one command that starts with a T here. So here at the privilege exit mode or enable mode, 
I cannot use the T as a command because it's not unique. It's incomplete. If I go back here again, I can use T because it's the only command that starts with a T here. However, it has options after it. I can shorten all the commands. I can also use the tab key. If I press question mark here, I see that I have only one command. Again, that starts with a T, that's a trace route. If I want to write it out, the entire word trace route, I can press the tab key. Whenever I press the tab key, it completes the current word or command. Here I press the tab key and it writes out the entire word trace route. It doesn't matter if I write T or trace route or trace or trace R or whatever, because as long as it's unique, I can use it. The error message I get here is just that it is complete. It does not take trace route as a command without any options. Let's write trace route, space, and a question mark. Now I can see again if there is anything else I need to add to the command, and there is. It does not say cache return. It means that I cannot just press enter here. I must enter something else. For the trace route command, I need to enter anything, either a host name or an IP address. This was part one of the firewall command line interface workgroup.